the boom beach we're gonna start this one off with a chest uh did not think i was gonna get here and i think we're one away from a sky shield one away from the sky shield we're five away from there i really want the building damage we're not going to be able to max it so it's not going to be significant <clears throat> but we unlocked our troop health today and kept our seekers alive we got our heavy choppers up to tick two and we've been debating on the shock launchers and the sky shield. Everyone has a sky shield. Now, if you have a hot pot, they can shock that. If you have the flotsam cannon, again, they can shock that. Uh, neither attack flying. So, not going to help with heavy chopper ro rocket choppers. Will help with the sky shield because they cannot flare the sky shield or the engine room it protects i guess that's the only reason everyone at ranks 18 seems to have that sky shield so i feel like i need to wait one hour and do some more attacks to get there i'm one win away from scratching the top 500 currently uh top 100 us somewhere 77 uh, right behind Op Destroy. I'm kind of chasing his coattails this season. Uh, he had a rocky start the first few days, as we all do. There we got Sugar Pie, LOL Master, shout out to Black God. And I think we got a few more down here in the 100s, but yeah, it's been good. Let me go ahead and show you some of what I've been doing. Uh, been getting a pretty good times. Uh, anything around one minute is good. And here we just kind of delay drop them so they all meet up at once. Two six and flare back and forth over the mines. And then you want to flare your heavies to that last engine. Helps with distracting the longer range defenses you usually find around there we got special seven here with the sky shield he's missing the flamethrowers uh, so we delay drop those i've actually been making mistakes lately with my flaring and also with dropping my last boat of seekers watch this i I waited a whole 30 seconds or something to drop my last boat of Seekers. I don't think they even made it there, but my heavies took out the shock mines. Boom. That's one done. We've been hitting some nasty bases, too. Had a one-second loss right here. He had one shock launcher. And I, I wanted to take him out, but two heavy choppers just cannot take it out in time. If I had shocked that shock launcher, I think all those troops would have ran up and got the win for me on that one. Then we had two shock launchers coming. Did pretty good here. Had to drop critters to stop those. Again, we're one second behind. I don't really know what we could have done differently on that one. And got a five second win after that. Got my got my hopes back up but i always drop one boat early and then the other two a second later so just a few troops hit the shock mine unfortunately it was perfectly in range where it grabbed most of them 
and delay drop these too late again but still got the win uh trying to flare my heavy choppers to get these mines is not easy that's what i've been working on mostly course shocking the single points out there that are going to take out individual troops so that got my hopes back up and then we went against this base this one's nasty here i thought about just dropping two boats to take that out and running four up here i don't know if it would have made a difference but we got a top 50 player here so i knew it wouldn't be easy I got those shock mines. I missed these right here, and my heavy choppers went down. So that was unfortunate right there. And just got wiped out on the way in. Had a sliver left and lost to a free clear attack. Then we had Mr. D's. Uh, I will not be attacking right now. Definitely need to keep what I got. Rank 18, I'm going to wait for that next chest and we can get um, I think did I say building damage, sky shield, probably sky shield. And this one was nasty. I didn't know how it would go. I knew I had to clear all these mines out to be any kind of effective attack. We did lose a bunch down there when the shock mine got them. But we were able to pull that one out. Just barely. And don't for forget, you can shock your seekers and flare them. <coughs> I've, I've done that on accident, shocked them, and then flared, and they they went towards the flare. So I kind of wish I hadn't uh, upgraded my shocks all the way, but I did. Yeah, so my base is shutting down straight seeker attacks. Sometimes I've had some players find every single mine. Uh, did I just show that one? No. Now these two in the back are tough. For sure. Again, kind of messed up this attack. The shock launcher was being a pain. I went ahead and flared to that last one. Our opponent fizzled out. I wanted to see how long that attack was. Yeah, right at one minute. Anything above 305 is almost a guaranteed win. Uh, 302, 304. Couldn't beat that one. 302, a 310 to a 311. That, that was insane. Three minutes. 309. And my boss fight for the win for 18 was this nasty base. So I knew I had to run my troops right up the middle, hoping they'd drop troops where they needed them, but they didn't. I was able to clear those shock mines with critters, and they're getting roasted down there. And then I had to fl I had to flare again up here to get that shock mine. Got it just in time. And those heavies are distracting, keeping my critters alive. Boom for the win. So that was fun. Let's go ahead and show my opponent's replay. I don't really know what you would call this base. It's kind of a V shape. 
went with the all heavy buses and I lost by four or I won by four seconds to an all heavy attack all HC attack uh, I have not seen that yet most of them are seeker heavy chopper or heavy rocket chopper mix and I don't know if I'm going to get the rockets just yet. I really want a little bit more gunboat energy and that. But everybody up at the top has the sky shield. Because it's switching over to rocket chopper heavy choppers. Which I should be able to max out with my next chest. Give us uh, 700... 800,000 should be enough to max those bad boys out. I really don't want to. I want to get the rest of the troop health and the which is expensive. 200, we need 300, so there's 500 just to get troop damage maxed and troop health up to tick 4. And the building damage. I think if I get the building damage and max out my boom cannons, which is 240 right there, I'll have 560 left to put into building damage. Sorry, I'm tired. Uh, so I would need two more chests. To get that. And then the question is. Do we go rifle. And extra cannons. Do we go south. And waste keys on medics. And artillery. Uh, the gunboat energy. Would, would be very nice. Just for clearing mines. I think we're going to go. See that's 38. And 34. Don't know what that is. And then 90. I feel like I really need to get troop health, building damage, this, waste the keys on, ugh, maybe, no, nah, they'd be too slow, waste the keys on the rifleman and go to the next engine room, I'm pretty sure we've got someone already right there but I'm not gonna waste time scrolling all the way to the top uh, seems like everybody is still at four engine room but this season guys we are going to get our first global trophy and I say that every season but thanks for watching guys here comes the train chatterhead out <laughs>